I think it was really nice that we were able to start our season against North Gwinnett because they're such a big rival that we've always had. And especially with our new stadium, it was nice to just kind of show out the first game and start off the season. Um, you know, I think there were a lot of expectations coming into that game. You know, they're they're a really powerful team. They've They've done a lot of great things over the past few years. And then, of course, they won state for the highest classification. So opening up with a new team, like, it, it was just great to, like, win that game and come through on top, so. Olivia was a workhorse that game, you know, pitching, going all the distance for us. Um, you know, pitch count got up, but she kept battling, and, and she's one that always wants the ball in her hand. And, and that's, she's got that pitcher mentality of, you know, you look out there, you can't tell if she's gave up back-to-back -back home runs or, uh, or she's got a no-hitter going. It's going to be the same demeanor. I've been, I've gone to Buford since seventh grade, and ever since then, I think Olivia's always been a very powerful, like top three. Um, teammate on that team. She's she's a leader. She's a true born leader. Um, she takes care of every situation that you put her in. And quite honestly, she's my best friend. So I know she's always got my back. She's got all of her teammates back. So she's a great teammate all around. Uh, you know, both of those girls are leaders in our program for sure. And, and Olivia, she's a workhorse in the circle for us. Um, great leader in the locker room as well as on the field. Uh, Kess Story is, I've always described her as the perfect teammate. Uh, I brag about her all the time as far as what kind of leader she is. You know, you look in the dugout and you can't tell if she's 0 for 4 or 4 for 4. It's going to be the same teammate and the same player uh, always with her. And so, you know, a lot of big moments in that game. Uh, you know, talk about, you know, that home run that kind of went to seal the whole thing. Talk yeah. about that. Um, well, you know, you can't really stress when you're when you're tired or when you're down, you just gotta keep playing your game because if you focus too much on what's gone bad that game, you just have to flush it. It's a game of failure. So I think going up to the plate, you know, I I see my ABCs when I'm in the box and so you just have to relax and kind of focus on the moment. And so I mean I did my job and so I just took care of business. You can't stress it. Um, family has always been like our motto, I guess. It's what we always break out on, and it's just always kind of been a part of Buford, and I think that's what we kind of play by. Um, I think our team is really close together. A lot of us have been playing together since we were in rec ball, so it's been a long time that we've been together, and I think that helps a lot with our chemistry, and I think that's kind of what's putting us together. We have the talent, but I think the chemistry is what really sets us apart. Well, like she said, this this program's more about family than anything, and so I think going into that, you, you just have to trust everybody, and the camaraderie on this team in the past few years has been great, but especially this year, I think passion and everybody wanting the success of the team, not just for yourself, it's kind of being selfless, and so I think her along with all of our other teammates, it's just that selfless uh, factor factor that kind of pieces us all together. I, you know, I think we've got to, we, we try to talk all the time about it. it's got to be good in the locker room. It can be good on the field. We got the talent on paper. It looks like, you know, we should be pretty strong, but it's got to be good in the locker room. So we really, really try to, you know, talk a lot about family and have respect for each other as far as when success, somebody's having success, be happy in their success that they're having. Uh, so that's one thing that we really try to work on as a family atmosphere here. You guys are in class 7A now, mm -hmm. and you know, you played a lot of 7A teams over the years, while in lower classifications. Have the expectations changed, or you know, is everything still straightforward, the Buford way, as we've heard it said so many times? I think it's still the same goal. Um, we've always played, or it's tried to play, like top teams, even if they weren't in our division, just to kind of prepare us, and I think we haven't really lost that mindset. I think it's the same as usual. You play every team like, like the same. You play your hardest all the time, so it's the same. We always want to schedule hard. We want our schedule to be hard because so, we feel like that's going to help us down the road in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, the region's going to be tough. It's going to be a very, very competitive region for sure. But we've always tried to play the best opponents that we can get on the schedule. And uh, just generally, what do you think about the new facility? I think it, we're blessed. We are truly blessed to have such amazing, like, superintendent. Everybody that made it possible, I think, I think it's great. And we're I'm grateful for it. I know, like, I, you don't see a lot of schools that have turf or a jumbotron or literally any of, any of the facilities that we have. So I think it's great. Thank you to everybody.